गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर नंबर 5 द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज लाइंस एंड एंगल्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर एक्चुअली लेट अस रीकैप सम ऑफ द डेफिनेशंस दैट वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन क्लास 6 द फर्स्ट इज यू शुड नो व्हाट इज अ पॉइंट यू नो दिस इज अ पॉइंट पॉइंट इज पुट अ डॉट एंड देन इट हैज नो डायमेंशन नो लाइन लेंथ नो ब्रेड So these two and 
also if you tie a rubber on this then you can see they form a angle one here one here one one two three four these kind of angles are formed so so the angles formed are known as vertically opposite angles let me describe the board also like there are two intersecting lines they are intersecting they are cutting each other at a point so these are intersecting lines and suppose you are making it a point o then you can see there four types of angle are formed so i have given names for these angles angle 1 2 3 and angle 4 now always one is and three this one way Let us now study related angles. Sometimes we have two angles that are connected to each other. Here we are talking about complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are a pair of angles whose sum is 90 degrees. In all these sets of angles you can notice that the sum of angles is equal to 90 degrees so all these sets of angles are complementary angles if you look closely you will observe that the hands of a clock and the picture frame are forming complementary angles on the other hand when the sum of measures of two angle is 180 degrees these are called supplementary angles Let's look at the example. In all these sets of angles, you can notice that the two angles together form a straight line, and the sum of angles is equal to 180 degrees. So all these sets of angles are supplementary angles. Notice that the lines drawn on the tennis court are right angles. Two right angles are equal to 180 degrees. Therefore. it is a good example of supplementary angles now check out these two angles here point o is the common vertex and side oc is the common arm whereas oa and ob are the non common arms so we call angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles and if a pair of adjacent angles whose non common sides lie opposite to each other at an angle of 180 degrees is called a linear pair next is vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles are the angles that are opposite to each other the interesting thing is that vertically opposite angles are always equal can you identify vertically opposite angle in this table fan it is very easy angle 1 and angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4 are two pair of vertically opposite angles draw two lines say l and m such that they intersect each other at point o label the vertically opposite angles as angle 1 2 3 and 4 take two straws over the line l and m such that the lines and straws coincide each other and fix them with some pin and now take a small circular sheet and paste the straws on it and the point of intersection and label the vertically opposite angles as 1 2 3 and 4 now place the straws on the intersecting lines such that they coincide with each other you can observe that angles 1 2 3 4 match exactly with angles 1 2 3 4 respectively of lines rotate the straws by 180 degree We observe that angle two and angle four have interchanged their positions, and so have angle one and angle three. 
in this position the lines and straws have not been disturbed thus we can conclude that angle 2 equals to angle 4 and angle 1 equals to angle 3 hence when two lines intersect each other the vertically opposite angles so formed are